Greetings, it's Heidi with Hydonian Living. Welcome back. Today's segment is on location in my garage. Yes, my garage. You can even see the broom, the random junk in my garage. Okay, I try not to have too much junk. A junky area equals a junky mind when you look at it. But what I wanted to talk to you today about is a easy way, a simple way to keep track of what's in your freezer or your deep freeze. Now, some of you probably don't even have an extra deep freeze. Others of you probably have one of those big, huge ones. Mine is more in the middle of the road size in the garage. But something that my husband and I discovered is we often, when it came time to meal plan or to make dinner, we would think, oh, what's in the freezer? I don't wanna go out there and look. Or we would think we had something in the freezer, prepare to make it, and then realize, oh my gosh, we don't have that in the freezer after all. Or we're digging for something, uh, like for example, that third pack of bacon that we were just sure we put in there and we find, oh my gosh, here's ham steaks from two years ago that I didn't realize were still in here. Now, there are way more complex systems out there to keep track of what's in your freezer, but my style, as you know, if you've been watching Hydonian Living for very long, is all about simple and solid, right? Simple, less is more. I find if my systems are too complex, I don't use them, they're hard to keep accurate, and they're too cumbersome for other people to help me maintain, AKA my hubby. Uh, and so I want it simple, I want it fast, and I want it to work. And so what you see behind me here is, okay, don't judge my spelling or my really poor handwriting, because this is like authentic, I did not beautify this at all for you. Okay, lie, I did come out with a paper towel and take off the things I um, erased with my fingers a little bit better, so it doesn't look quite as grody, but, I didn't even go buy a new whiteboard to do this. I literally had a whiteboard that a friend had given me when they were cleaning out before moving. It's a, one of those huge ones that's a calendar whiteboard. So I'm not even using it for a calendar. You could go buy a big whiteboard. I definitely recommend it being an actual whiteboard so it's easy to write on and erase and write on and erase. So I just changed the categories a bit. Pardon the, the uh, camera yickiness there. So I just changed the categories a bit and put pork, chicken, beef, and I have one also for ready-made. And so basically what we do is, well, we took an inventory, right? We cleaned our freezer out, um, which took way less time than I thought. Like in your mind, you think it's gonna take forever, but literally it probably took me less than 20 minutes to go through everything in my freezer. I just got out a couple of big coolers, took everything out of the freezer and put it in the coolers by type. So then I could count it as I put it back into the freezer and put it on my lovely board. And so we have a ready to eat category. We have pork, chicken, beef, um, and then miscellaneous, which would also be known as my husband's fishing bait. Yes, delightful, isn't it? To think about that in your freezer with your food, but hey, that's the reality of life. So. I just put, you know, like three chicken enchiladas in the ready to eat column because that's what's in the freezer, right? Simple enough. And then you keep your whiteboard pins handy, good old string, right? On a nail, super inexpensive, super easy, super simple. And then when you take things out of the freezer, you mark, you know, you erase and rewrite the number. So if there were four, obviously there's three. I think you all can probably do elementary school math. Uh, but that being said, it's a great, simple way to keep track of what's in your freezer. It's also easy when you're meal planning to come out and look at quickly at a glance what is in your freezer so that you can look and say, oh yeah, I forgot, I had those um, ham pox, let's make ham and beans. And I would have never thought to put ham and beans on the meal plan if I hadn't seen what's in my freezer. So simple, solid, will help make meal planning easier, waste less food, use up more food. I guess that's kind of the same thing, right? So anyway, there is my tip for you to help keep your freezer inventory on track, front of mind, and easy to use. So I hope this helps you become more of who you're called to be and have freedom in the process.